briefly about uh, the tech profile, I mean, uh, the technology tag. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just want, uh, like, what old technology you have got, and uh, I mean, in your recent projects or uh, the work you have done. So I just mm-hmm. need the technology which you have actually used. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, them like out of 10, mm-hmm. say if it's code, Java, or DB, just mm-hmm. read them uh, out, of, out of 10. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, let me just get started code, Java. Mm-hmm. So uh, do you know, I mean, what are the basic uh, design principles uh, of tools which we normally uh, take? Okay, when let's say need to design an application, and uh, I mean, there should be some basic things or guidelines mm-hmm. which you need to follow. Mm-hmm. So, like, uh, like you are trying to know OOPS principle, right? Yeah, OOPS principles we have abstraction, we have encapsulation, we can, we have uh, inheritance, we have polymorphism. Apart from that, if if we talk about uh, uh design principles like that uh, we have uh, solid we can say solid design pattern that is segregation of uh, mm-hmm. so solid uh but solid means actually uh solid means like it is a uh, combination of some uh, de- uh we can say guidelines which helps us which helps in development of application which will be uh, less, uh, which will be uh, less coupled, and uh, uh, maintenance of that application will be easy. Okay, so uh, you uh, uh, come again. Is it a pen and paper and no? Uh, yeah, one second, I will take out. Let me, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm just giving you a small little. So uh, what I'm having, I'm having a, a loan on application, okay? Uh-huh. And Sorry. it was, uh, in, we have I have a loan application. Loan application, okay. Yeah, and in loan application that I'm having uh, in current date, uh, I'm having a personal loan, mm-hmm. I'm having a home loan, okay? Okay. And I'm having a car loan, mm-hmm. fine? Mm-hmm. So uh, currently uh, there is a third party user, a third party application mm-hmm. which normally uh, holds their uh, loan application for calculating the EMI. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, while uh, I mean requesting for the EMI, the third party client uh, needs three things. Uh, one is amount of loan, mm-hmm. second is type of loan, mm-hmm. and third is, third is value of the loan. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so and uh, based on these parameters, my application uh, calculates the EMI because there are different calculations for all the types of one. Okay, it's written the EMI amount. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. so uh, first I want, I mean, could you please just uh, tell me or uh, I mean, draw a binary class or interface diagram? Mm-hmm. I mean, what all the apps you will do for this and what will you do? I'm not actually concerned about the uh, internal implementation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the interaction of classes and interfaces for this. Mm-hmm. So means uh, you are asking me to design what are the uh, what are the services and what are the DAO and these implementation classes will be there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, just I mean uh, the interfaces classes and the methods we have for this particular class. So see uh, first uh, for being classes like uh, to store the the particular loan related data we can design uh, like. Uh, We can take a loan as a base class. Means whatever common uh, functionalities are there in home loan, personal loan, and car, car loan, their common properties we can define inside the loan class, that is super class, and some common behavior we can define. But top of that, we can define the interfaces. We can say loan interface, uh, which will have all the common prototype which is required among all the classes. So on top we have loan interface we will take uh, that will have some common properties and behavior which are required for all these three classes. Then after loan interface we can design uh, uh, abstract loan class. Suppose maybe uh, some common behavior is there. 
which is uh, same for home loan, personal loan, or car loan. So that common behavior I can define inside the abstract loan class. And then we will have these three concrete classes, home loan, extends abstract loan, plus loan loan, ex uh, extends uh, abstract loan, and car loan. And in that we will define the concrete behavior, that is a specific functionality which is required for these classes. So this is related uh, to the loan, uh, what we yeah. can say. So Okay, so let's say a third party wants to get the EMI. I mean, what, what class or what method they will go? Okay, so third party, and so we, we have to expose expose this uh, EMI calculation, right? So we can mm -hmm. uh, we can define for the loan controller class. Uh, in controller class, mm -hmm. we can define the uh, URL like uh, service method. So, uh, uh, so uh, one second. Yes, just like a uh, simple guy, if you want to make a community of web services, so let's say the communication will be uh, done within a Java application. So there are okay. different components. So this is one module. Okay. Just okay. think about, let's say, the third party is also Java client. Okay. So uh, there will be loan service class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we can define uh, uh, loan some DAO in place of taking whatever is approach I told. Uh, we will take only bean classes for loan, and we can define loan DAO uh, that contains uh, the whatever database related functionalities are there. That uh, code, uh, that uh, method prototype, we will define in loan DAO interface. Then we can write loan. So, uh, 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 so um, I mean, uh, I mean, the classes will be exposed to a high type application that, uh, that will, which, which class that will be, or uh, will it be some interface or a class? So let's say I'm uh, yeah, we have, we have an application. Only. Okay, so which interface? So that's why uh, that's what I'm actually looking for. So the name of the interface, let's say I'm a uh, third party user or I'm a different application that's want to use your module uh -huh. and I need EMI from you. So I need to know which interface, uh, which interface uh, from your module is providing you that feature, right? Uh -huh. And what, what is the method name? Uh -huh. So that is what I'm looking for. I think we can provide some loan service. Loan service. Loan service. Uh, but you already created an interface. Then what is of what what use is of that interface? Why? Because we have a simple method over there implemented by this one, personal loan class, uh, sorry, loan classes. Mm -hmm. Then why you need a separate service class with this kind? You simply expose this interface and this method to uh another application. Yeah, we can expose that loan service. We can use for internal purpose in our code. Okay, so let's say you have exposed the interface to a third party. So what will be, uh, I mean, which method will contain or what parameter it will, you will pass, let's say, uh, I mean, third party will be passed to get the email. So, like they want to calculate the, uh, get, uh, they want to calculate the EMI. So we can define mm -hmm. a method like uh, EMI means some amount will be there. Finally. So EMI means uh, finally what we have to return the value, some double value, right? Mm -hmm. So we can define like public double uh, calculate mm -hmm. EMI that will take uh, double mm -hmm. amount as a type double amount and uh, it is uh, type is I think type of account so we can define a super class as a type so we can use dynamic dispatch mm -hmm. concept and tenure we can define some months if it is integer we can define mm -hmm. integer or we can take double okay uh, so that's fine mm -hmm. so I mean how uh, your application will decide let's say a uh, call comes from the party and you say that I need a personal Type of loan is personal amount is actually two lakhs and uh, tenure is two months. Mm -hmm. So, how your application will decide which particular implementation uh, needs to be called to uh, for this? When you will decide that? Yeah, and I use that. Uh, that you know. So, I think we can use some factory uh, factory design pattern concept. In that, uh, we can use like if uh, the request is coming for inside the type, it will have what type of object they are looking for, which class it is implementation they want. 
so we can check if type contains home loan then we can instantiate that class and related services we can provide similarly we can do for okay home loan also. so um that's fine uh now let's say i want to extend my uh application and a new loan uh type comes in uh let's say the loan type loan type is senior student loan mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now in senior student loan, what is happening? I mean, it's uh, like the uh, all other loans, but problem here is uh, it requires another parameter, and the parameter is uh, the category of senior students. So this loan, uh, the different category, uh, the loan EMI needs to be calculated because it varies, I mean, the interest rate varies. Mm -hmm. So now uh, the third party of the different application we need to pass one more parameter. Mm -hmm. Right, so how you will uh, adjust uh, or adapt this particular uh, in use case in your existing design? Okay. Uh, we can segregate this to one more layer. I think we can use the mm -hmm. uh, we can use the abstract factor design pattern. Like we, we can create mm -hmm. one more layer on top, uh, uh, like abstract factory means it will return collection of factory. Like uh, means we can create uh, one home loan factory, personal loan factory, car loan factory, or in future if it comes uh, for senior citizen, we can create one layer. We can add uh, before to that factory design pattern. Yeah, that's fine. I I got your point, but uh, let's say as of now, uh, you have one interface, mm -hmm. and uh, the method you expose it calculate you might it was taken three parameters. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I mean, now as I told you that we'll have uh, one more parameter, so you need to add that parameter to this loan uh, method, but it will change all the implementing classes as well. You need to okay. add that over there as well, right? So we will not uh, we will not modify that method. We can add one more mm -hmm. method in the interface, which takes like overloaded method, which will take one more uh, whatever parameter is. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, so my question is like, uh, I mean, that's again adding some more complexity to my uh, application. So, for third party, think about the different module. Mm -hmm. uh, it needs to find out the particular method I need to call every time, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say they have uh, more. Uh, Three more guys come, then they need, let's say, some need five parameters, some need two parameters. So you need, I mean, you will keep on adding the method, it will uh, create the complexity and unnecessary uh, line of code. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, uh, is there any way that, I mean, I, I just don't want, uh, I mean, that much complexity or that much uh, uh, polymorphism by just overloading methods for every use case? Mm -hmm. Just think about, I mean, uh, what you can do to adapt it. I think we have some adapter design pattern also. Yeah, so, uh, do you know if you want to just uh, put that here, what you will do with it? I mean, just, uh, I mean, don't think about yeah, adapter pattern. Yeah, actual But again, that method needs to be, uh, it will take some parameters, right? Yeah, some parameters. Yeah, so. So again, the same problem comes to, uh, comes when you call that method. But if we add that, uh, uh, before the actual method, I think that modification will be there at one place. Like how we do in DAO. Mm -hmm. Means I don't need to mod if I if I expose the actual method to the client, if it exchanges later, then I have to modify everywhere in my code wherever it is used. But if I add uh, mm -hmm. uh, one more layer on top of this and some other method is exposed, I need to modify at one place. Yeah, so this is I mean a bit better than the earlier one. So can't you do like this? I mean, just in your interface itself, instead of passing a one, two, three, or four parameters or five parameters, just pass the pass a single uh, request object, a kind of object which contains all the parameters which can be added or uh, called by the client. So 
So you can add n, n number of parameters. So based on whatever parameters are set, so want to do like that? Yeah, we can do that. We can define code. And, yeah. and you need not to change anywhere except your request of bit. Yeah, yeah. Means we can okay. take cool. class as a parameter. Mm, okay, cool. I mean, I